coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. Amazon petitions the FAA for drone delivery waiver. DJI may be introducing a Mavic Mini. And a flamethrower kit for drones is introduced. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world. In partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 200,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. I'm your host, Sophie Herlock. Amazon petitioned the FAA for a waiver from several current rules governing unmanned aerial vehicles to allow the company to begin delivery services with its MK-27 drone. The waiver's request it would allow the aircraft to operate without a certificate of airworthiness and beyond visual line of sight. They also requested the aircraft be exempt from rules governing altitude, VFR fuel requirements, and maintenance documentation. According to the petition, the services would initially be conducted in low population areas where there's no possibility of icing conditions and where winds are less than 24 knots. Flight plans would avoid all known overflight areas such as sensitive government installations, hospitals, and open air assemblies. Delivery trips would be less than 7.5 nautical miles each way and would carry packages less than 5 pounds. The FAA posted information about the waiver and supporting documentation from Amazon on the Federal Register. The proposal is open for public comment through the 28th. Now it's time for our Drone Minute, where we'll take a quick look at a few short stories making rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. Forty-year-old Stacy Nguyen Rogers was arrested after admitting to firing three shots at an airplane that was conducting a mosquito control flight near her home. Rogers told officers she thought the aircraft was a drone flying over her property. Rogers was arrested and charged with illegal use of a weapon and was later released after paying a $500 bond. A full-size test vehicle of a passenger drone under development by NEC Corporation made a one-minute test flight inside a drone cage on Monday. The EB toll aircraft lifted about 10 feet off the ground in the first demonstration of such a vehicle by a major Japanese corporation. The company is positioning itself to be an enabler for air mobility and its partner, Cardivator, plans to begin mass production of the aircraft in 2026. Remote pilots and UAS program thought leaders from top public safety agencies across the U.S. will unite for the Drone Responders Public Safety Summit at Commercial UAV Expo America on October 28th through the 30th at the Westgate Resort and Casino in Las Vegas. Program content will combine traditional panel presentations with full-day summit meetings and workshops to address key issues facing the UAS community. We know it's not a drone, but the Aero News crew got their hands on a DJI Pocket camera for Oshkosh and put it to good use. With no training on the Pocket, we sent out a crew member to get some quick shots of children attempting an official world record for the world's largest pedal plane formation. The results were outstanding, to say the least, and we'll be sure to publish more thorough report in the future. Now back to the rest of the news. The rumor mill is ripe with the possibility DJI may soon be unveiling a mini version of the popular Mavic drone. DJI, however, has remained mum for the moment. Video has surfaced though, as well as a spec sheet and the details that seem consistent as having this foldable offering coming at under 250 grams with all the right goodies. This makes the bird even smaller than the Spark and may signal a whole new product generation. Some excellent sleuthing from drone DJ sees the size and weight specifications as key to some upcoming strategies from DJI. Especially in light of the fact that this puts the Mini Mavic under the weight specs put forth by the FAA for registration requirements, and freeing the potential customer base from the hassle of dealing with the FAA for the moment. Drone DJ sees this as a market buster, and we'd be hard-pressed to disagree. We'll provide you with more information as soon as we get it. How could we resist this story? A drone has already been cast as a villain in at least one Hollywood movie. And Throw Flame's TF-19 Wasp kit, which allows a flamethrower to be added to a drone, might just take that concept to the next level. 
The row flame says that the device is designed for remote ignition of aerial and ground targets, bringing new levels of efficiency and manageability to agriculture. It could ignite a target up to 25 feet away, firing a stream of flame for up to 100 seconds with its one gallon fuel capacity. The company says the device can be used to clear debris from power lines, setting prescribed burns for forest management and firefighting, remote agricultural burns, and pest management and nest elimination. The TF-19 kit is compatible with most cinema industrial drone platforms with a payload capacity of five pounds or more. The company says that flamethrower drones are federally legal and not considered weapons. However, users are still required to comply with the FAA's UAS rules in addition to local ordinances. And that's it for this week's AMA Drone Report. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe and check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. For more information on the exciting hobby drone world, head over to modelaircraft.org. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.